Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Mini. We're inside today, because it's a little bit rotten outside, typical English weather, it's absolutely pouring down. So, the car's a bit wet and a bit dirty. We don't really have the chance to clean it at the moment, so you'll have to just suffer with looking at the way it is. So, as some people have guessed today, we're gonna to be talking about the rear subframe and all the components around it. So, this car has, well, it's about, Oh, we're 15 years old now and on the British roads as I'm sure some people get we get lots of salt uh, put out on the roads in winter and being low to the low to the ground a lot of it gets kicked up and sits across all of the components in the back of the car uh, another episode which you'll see is we talk about the change of the exhaust where one of that well, part of that rusted out and had to be changed but as you can see uh, so this is not off the car so there's there's a couple of things to consider here so Here's, this is the rear subframe. As you can see, this is off an R53, same as this. As you can see, it's got quite a bit of rust. This is the top of it, and it is, so it would sit in the car basically like this. So you can see there's quite a bit of rust over across the top of it and down around the sides. This is a 2005, and uh, it's around about the facelift model, but at the end of the Gen 1 Minis, Mini and BMW, started changing some of the components so I think it's I believe it started with the GP model of, uh, of this car uh, and then moving into the 2007-2008 range they changed the rear trailing arms from steel to aluminium. One of the upgrades that can be done is to take the steel units out which on on this car are pretty well rusted as much as the subframe and you can put in these aluminium ones. So I've got these off uh, a wrecker uh, fairly cheap and we'll be putting those on these are also going to the powder coater to be uh, cleaned up and get some paint on them now obviously aluminium but it's nice to have them nice and clean looking good especially since we're going to spend a bit of money on this so there's that component this here is just the front mount for the rear trailing arm so that'll sit up underneath the car and the rear trailing arm fits into there other components we've got a whole bunch of new bolts bolts for connecting the trailing arm in bolts for the hub control arm bolts and nuts and all these things new brake discs because again those have uh, completely rotted out uh, we'll show you some footage of that as well uh, and um, now these things here they're just locating bolts for the discs they're not really really needed but considering they're only a couple of quid may as well get them I thought Okay, so as said, with part of what we're doing here, this is A, it's partly to clean up the car at the back, make sure that it's safe and good to drive. And also what we're gonna do in the process, and we'll show you through um, further videos, is we'll show you the fact that we're changing the control arm, the trailing arms. We're gonna change the controlling ar control arms as well. And we're gonna put some uh, adjustable control arms in there as well. Uh, what we're also going to do is upgrade the, upgrade the sway bar to give us a little bit more control on the road and keep the back of the car down. Right, uh, so here we are at the back of the car. We're going to go down and show you some of the rot that has occurred to this, the rear of this car over the number of years that I've honed it. So with, it, with the wheel on, it's going to be a little bit hard to see the rot. So what I'm going to do, we'll jack the car up, whip the wheel off and let you have a closer look. Guys, so we jack the car up and remember before I get too many bad comments, always think about safety. We've got a jack stand down underneath onto the subframe just in case this thing fails. The last thing we want to do is being caught underneath the car. Right, come in and have a closer look. You can probably see already these discs have pretty much started rot away. I only replaced these about six years ago, uh, but you can see with all the salt that's come up they're really corroded away. And you can see the uneven pad wear. So the pads start to change shape. And in the back, even the disc sensor has already triggered. And um, we'll show you that inside. So you can see here's, uh, so we showed you the aluminum trailing arm. This is the steel one. And as you can see it again, it's really starting to rot. Some of the paint's starting to come off. Um, we've got the sway bar here, it's not too bad. Um, but up into the subframe, again, you can start to see where the salts are starting to tack it up the top here. Control arms, it's not too bad, not as bad. They're a little bit further back. 
Um, but you can also see, like I said, I did replace the exhaust. So this is a stainless steel exhaust. Hopefully it's going to last a little bit longer than the old um, box style steel ones that were in there before. So today, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to take these components down to the uh, powder coater. So he's going to media blast all of this, get rid of the rust, get rid of all the old paint, clean them up, and we'll get a nice lick of paint on all these things, make them nice and clean and tidy. So we're going to head down there now. We'll see you down there shortly. Okay, so we're on our way to the powder coaters. We've got all the bits in the back. At least I certainly hope we did. And uh, we'll see you there in just a minute. As you can see, the weather is absolutely stunning. Perfect day for uh, cats, no, ducks, etc, etc. Nothing like coming down these country lanes, meeting someone on the way. A few bits of trees down on the road. So getting close now, coming up to 80 powder coaters. Uh, it's been a bit of a trip. Should have had the video on. There was a car off the side of the road. There was a broken down truck. But um, anyway, nearly there. So I'm hoping to see uh, Ashley in just a moment. Hope we got the good directions. Let's see if I can see anybody. Uh, no, not not up here. Oh no, I found it. Hey guys, right we're here. Let's head inside. See Ashley. Right, guys, here we are at AV Powder Coating. This is Ashley. How are you, Ashley? All right, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. Mate. You too. Cool. So, we've brought the parts from the Mini, a couple of aluminium parts, steel parts, subframe. Ashley's going to do his, uh, do his business, and what, yeah. we'll, what we'll do. Ashley's got a channel as well. Your channel is yeah, Ape, um, Ashley Birch, just my name. Cool, and we'll put that in the link below, any uh, link in, uh, down below, so you'll be able to come and see what he does. Uh, so he'll take some videos of, the, of what's going to happen here, and we'll come back in a week or two, um, pick all the con all the stuff up. See you again then. Yeah. Yeah, it's just <laughs> 